Hey guys, I hope you're all doing really well. So today I wanted to have a little fun with hair and makeup and also find a way to celebrate Halloween this year. I still wanted to mark the season and go a little bit gothic with my makeup and outfit. So that is what I've done for this video. I really hope you guys enjoy it. Let me know in the comments below what you guys are up to for Halloween and if you're going to be like me and just pretend that you're going to a Halloween party and dress up <laughs> and do your hair and makeup all nice. I am probably going to end up just eating a lot of chocolate and sweets but you know not gonna complain about that. <laughs> so anyway I'm gonna get straight on with the video and show you how I got this look. So for foundation I'm gonna start out with the Bare Minerals Performance Wear Liquid Foundation and I am in the shade Fair 01. You guys will know if you watch my Makeup Mondays that I love Bare Mineral foundations. I find they are such a good match with my skin and I just love the way they look. So I'm going to use this one today. It's nice and pale, matches my skin perfectly, which is what we need for this look. This is the joy of being pale, is Halloween is actually quite a good time to be pale. <laughs> so I'm just blending that in with the Bare Minerals uh, Luxe Performance Brush. I'm then going to go in with my Hourglass Concealer in the shade Birch and I'm just going to pop this on any spots that I have and just slightly under my eyes. This stuff is so pigmented so you really don't need much at all. And I'm also going to use it as an eyeshadow base so putting it on top of my eyelids as well. I'm going to blend that in with the Bare Minerals Shade and Diffuse brush. I've been skipping powder recently, so I'm going to go straight onto bronzer and I'm going to use the Hoola Bronzer from Benefit. And I'm going to use the Bare Minerals Seamless Shaping and Finish Brush. I'm then going to go in with my favourite cream blush, which is the Bobbi Brown Cream Blush in the shade Powder Pink. And I like to apply this on a bit of a smaller brush, so this one is the Real Techniques, hmm, I don't know, oh, contour brush. The name is nearly completely rubbed off on this, that's how long I've had it for. I'm just gonna pop this on the apples of my cheeks and blend up. And then I like to add it slightly through my, the end of my eyebrows and sometimes take it onto my nose. I'm gonna highlight with the Bare Minerals Endless Glow Highlighter in the shade Free. It's a really nice sort of champagne-y colour highlight. Moving on to brows, I'm going to fill them in with the Benefit Precisely My Brow Brow Pencil. I am in shade 3 in this. I recently bought shade 2.75 which is like an Albany shade but I find that it's very red compared to my eyebrow shade and I prefer to match to my eyebrows than my hair, oddly enough. Like the shade really perfectly matched my hair, the 2.75, but I prefer the way the three looks on my face. So I'm gonna go for quite a strong brow and I'm just gonna do little strokes, filling in, and then I make sure I fill in underneath because that makes quite a big difference. And then once I've filled them in, I like to brush them up and then brush them down just to sort of blend all of those little lines I've just drawn. I'm going to set those into place with the Benefit 24 hour brow setter. This stuff is so good, it just sticks your eyebrows wherever you want them to be. <laughs> Let's move on to eyes, I'm going to use the Fenty Beauty Snap Shadow Palette. This is number 9 and it's got some really lovely shades in it in there. So I'm going to start off by taking this shade here and just running it through my crease. I'm also going to take that shade underneath the eye. I'm then going to go in with this deep purple shade and I'm going to put that across the whole of my eyelid. I'm then going to take the shimmery red shade and just put this 
over the same area that I just put all of that purple because we don't want it to look too much like a black eye. <laughs> I'm going to take this shimmery shade here and put it in my inner tear duct area just as a nice little highlight. That didn't take me very long at all and I have literally zero fallout from those eyeshadows which considering the colours I used is pretty amazing. I'm going to take this super dark brown down here which is from the Too Faced Just Peaches palette and I'm going to use a Spectrum A24 brush to just do a little bit of defining along the lash line. I'm really not a fan of the way liquid liner looks on my eyes anymore. I think with my pale skin and red hair it just looks way too harsh. I mean sometimes I do it if I'm feeling up to it <laughs> but I find that this just looks so much more natural and smoked out. And next up I'm going to use the Bare Minerals Strength and Length Mascara. This is a new mascara from Bare Minerals and I've been using it for quite a few weeks now and I'm really really loving it. It has a serum built into the formula so it kind of over time is meant to condition and lengthen the lashes so I'm all for that <laughs> and it also makes your lashes just super long so no need for false eyelashes I don't even remember the last time I wore false eyelashes <laughs> it's been quite a while but this mascara has different shapes on each ridge so you can really get loads of detail in your lashes and you can also just really build it up if you want to using the flat side. So that's the eyes done and if I were to wear this out and about I would probably skip the lips which I'm about to do um, because I'll have to be wearing a mask and things like that so I'd probably just end up putting a little bit of lip balm on. But seeing as most of us are spending Halloween at home I thought I would show a fun lip option for this look. So I'm going to use the Charlotte Tilbury Lip Cheat in the shade Walk of No Shame and it's sort of like a deep red but not too dark of a red. I'm going to be going over this with a darker colour. I just wanted to have that sort of red bleed underneath almost. And then finally on top of that I'm going to use Too Faced Lip Injection Lip Gloss in the shade Hot Love. I haven't tried this yet. Ooh. I thought that lip gloss would have been a little bit more purple but I actually don't think it's too bad having a bit more of a red lip with a purple eye, I quite like it. So I'm going to do my hair now and we can fix up some sort of hairstyle that can go with this look. So for the hairstyle I'm just going to start by taking a few sections away from my face and then I'm going to take the top section up here. and I'm going to tie that with just a normal hair tie. I'm then going to split this ponytail in two. Take the ponytail and bring it through and then with the rest of the hair I'm just going to tie that in a lowish ponytail. Then you can just leave it as a ponytail but I'm just going to add a little bit of back combing and I'm going to twist it round into a bun and just pin it down with some little bobby pins. Okay, and there we go. That was super quick and easy. But yeah, I quite like this makeup look with hair slightly back and then a few little bits down at the front. You could then try and make this into some sort of fake fringe jobby. <laughs> Let me know what you think of this hairstyle if you're gonna give it a go yourself. So there we go, that is the end of the video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Please give it a big thumbs up if you did. And yeah, I will see you guys all in my next video. Bye!